to your camera? Um, I think I probably just pressed a couple buttons. Do the what? I think I just pressed a couple buttons. That should be all Oh, right. you have a remote. Okay. I got it. Okay. <laughs> that is a cool toy. So that is a cool toy. The left lead is the good one. Okay. We're talking about the haunches getting too tucked in. Yep. The right lead is, is the worst <clears throat> so if you've got a horse that travels with its hind quarters in like a crab it doesn't make any sense whatsoever but it works bend the head to the outside okay. I don't I had a, a wonderful woman Jenny Larson Clark and she, said, and she said the same thing. She said, I don't know why it works. But, when, you know, our instinct is to bend them more and use more inside leg and yeah. ride shoulder in. And she said, none of that is wrong. But the fastest fix is you take their head slightly to the outside. Okay. And it does work. Okay. Yep, bend his head. Left hand towards the horn. There you go. Left hand to the horn. Don't know why it works. Not too much. Yep, as you go down that long side, left hand will go to the horn. Yep. And you'll keep doing that till he gets stronger. Better. Oh my God, I gotta go through water. <laughs> Does it better than mine? I watched Sandy Chahaney win a class up in Illinois. Mm -hmm. Grand Prix. Mm -hmm. three, three quarters of the ring. Mm -hmm. the water. That feel better? Yeah. And she just put up through that stuff like it's not good. Sounds worse than a whistle. Uh, you know, when we were eventing, man, you wanted a horse that just jumped into water. Oh, heck yeah. A lot of teaching horses to do water, too, is not to make such a big stink about it. Yeah. People get in a big panic about water. And, you know, it's not good trying to make them go through water when you got a two-inch scrap of water to go through. Yeah. You know, when you have plenty of water like that, it gets real easy for them. Oh, yeah. Well, that was the thing with Fiddler would go through a lake, yep. across a river. Left hand to the pommel. Mm -hmm. Yep. Put a two-inch puddle. He saw no reason to put his foot in that. Good. Yeah. Old Johnny Graves. Um, you know, when he got out of doing Arabs, he got into doing meals. And he and I were talking one day. And we were talk something came up about a bridge. And if there was a bridge that didn't have side rails on it, mm -hmm. and the mule went to the side around the bridge, mm -hmm. they wouldn't penalize him. And oh. I said, well, what do you mean? And he said, because really and truly, it shows the mule's common sense. Why would you go over the stupid bridge if you could go around the side? Mm -hmm. And it's the same thing with water. He said, oh, you know, yeah. why would you go through a little puddle? That was Fiddler's point. He was always like, why do you want me to put my foot in That there? was much better. So if I do that for a while, he'll just start, like, squaring up a little yep. bit? Yep. Okay. Yep. Nice. Just a straightness thing. And in actual fact, if you look at it, you're not going to get in trouble in the ring because you're not that much, you're straight, you're not that much to the outside. Right. It's, it's less like counter bend and more just lack of bend. Yes. Sometimes you need to put a counter, but it's definitely lack of bend. And one of the other things that it does, I think, when you take that left hand 
to the horn is that it pushes the shoulder over for you. Yeah. You know, like you were neck craning that shoulder around, it pushes that shoulder in front of the hip. And that'll be good for his little bleeding through <coughs> the neck thing that he does in life. So. Yeah. So the other thing with the turn on the forehand that I always do quite a bit of, even with the babies, is I will just try to see, like, right where you're standing, if I use my outside leg and rein, will you move your shoulders around? I don't want it to be a spin. I don't want it to be a turn on the launches. Yeah, I'm I'm way down below that. I'm still looking. If I put my outside rein and leg on you, will you move your shoulder around? So try that now. In the middle of a turn on the launches? Just the right where you're standing there. Put your left rein against his neck. Now see if you can walk and do the same thing. Go walk. Put your left rein against his neck and move the shoulder over. Less bend. Now you gotta move that shoulder more. The turn on the haunches was great, but when you say walk, he's like, oh, I don't know how to walk and chew gum at the same time. Get after that, yes, get after that shoulder more. Come on, move your shoulder around, horse, and walk. Thank you. Better. So again, lack of bend or possible fractional outside bend, but make that outside move over. Yeah. And it's interesting. I don't. You'll see it on the videotape. As he does that, and he really has to do it, he's picking that left front up and slapping it down. See it? Yep. Feel it? And that's probably just kind of a, a muscle type thing, yeah. a coordination. I have a weird horse up in Jacksonville, Irish Draft. And anytime you ask him to stretch down long and low, mm -hmm. his knees come up and slap him in the jaw. <laughs> No, and this thing is a, it's an Irish draft, but it does. I mean, it literally picks its knees up and plonks itself in the face with them. So it comes out of a straight walk, and I don't know if that's a, if it's neurological, physiology, what it is. Like a lot of Irish draft, he also had a dirty buck in him. I've worked with about four or five of them, and I find all of them have a little bit of a kink. Hmm. This thing would go fine for 45 minutes, and you'd say canter, and he'd cut loose bucking. No good reason. What else do we want to work on? Maybe a little bit of the shoulder in at the shot. Yep. And, and this will also, the Turning those shoulders mm -hmm. will also help the shoulder in because it's giving you the control of the outside shoulder. I was looking at that online because I was struggling with it at home and I was like, I don't understand why I can't get him to just loosen up and go here. And they were like, make sure that you take your shoulders and you put them there. And right. then he'll just follow. And it was like... <laughs> and a lot of times um, we'll actually do that that turn on the haunches you were doing just now, the walking one, mm -hmm. well, actually, I'll actually do it at the trot. Because oh, okay. the horse has to come around, he has to stretch all of this. Yeah. And it gives you control of that outside shoulder yeah. in the trot so that you can kind of move them around. Well, that's a good one. We'll try that one. And you need that for the half passes and the haunches in later on. Yeah. You know, it's sort of about basically, can I move the shoulders? Can I move the back end? Can I take it all forward and still move those pieces? I had an assistant trainer one time used to say, oh, greed is on our control of the body parts thing. Well, if you control the body parts. Well, you know, and that was it. it was little Katie loved it. She used to say, oh, we're going to do control of the body parts. And I'm like, yeah. Mm -hmm. More outside bend. Oh, the body parts. Yep, don't make it quite so fast. 
That's it. And think about, can I go straight? Can I do a half turn? Can I go straight again? Can I control it? I know you can do it. Can you control it? Can I do it with less bend? 100% straight. Good. Now go to your shoulder in, and if you feel him leaking into that outside shoulder, you just pick up that rein and say, uh, turn that shoulder. And this is actually how you get into shoulder in. You move the shoulder in with the outside rein. So now you've gone from level one to level two. Level one, shoulder in, we were pushing the quarters out. Level two, shoulder in, we say you do it now by moving the shoulder in with that outside rein. Yep. So you move the shoulder in, then you put the out inside leg on. Shoulder in first, turn the shoulders first, then the inside leg. One, two, punch. Good. I was watching a thing the other day, I don't even know how I ran across of it. A couple kickboxes. Mm. And then one guy two or three times, and I don't know how he didn't get penalized for it. Nailed the guy in the crotch, and then put him on the ground. And the guy got quietly pissed. Because he kept trying to do it a third or fourth time. Mm. That must not be illegal. Golly, like he got should quiet, be. quietly pissed and beat the shit out of him. Oh, good. <laughs> not, not, finally he got mad and he got him in the right position. He was actually boxing that point rather than kickboxing mm. but he put him on the ground good good so this is the same thing in the beginning at the end of that shoulder in really activate the outside rein and make a half circle <clears throat> activate the outside rein half circle Leg heel back to the track. Every, yep. Now switch, catch the other one. Right shoulder, yep. So that's it, you know, you're moving in between the two reins, between the two shoulders. See how easy it will be to start the half pass? Yeah. Good. And then again, come back and say, can you put your head down? Just as a reminder, put your head in the dirt. I just need to know that if I say put your head down, that horse is gonna go down to the ground. Good. I don't want them to stay there. I was watching a couple of Rainers the other day. I don't know where the hell they're going with Rainer. Because they're running Rainers with their heads down that oh low. And it's like, God. how the hell? How the hell? This damn thing's going to fall over, for yeah. God's sake. Really? But they're running the Rainers down that low. The slow, small circles are getting very hitchy. Yeah, I can see why. And this was um, the big guys, Flower Day and those guys? Yeah. I've I'm seen a couple of, um, things, like, Papani and them, too, are doing the same. Down. And it, it kind of, what, it defeats the purpose mm -hmm. of what raining is for. You know, you're supposed to be able to go get a cow, and you can't get a cow here. No. Like... They used to do a class at 
in Albuquerque called Working Working Cow Horse, mm -hmm. and they'd have to, you know, run them up, take a cut a cow out, run it up and down, turn it right, turn it left, put it in a circle, kind of daily. It was a fun class to watch. 